Hello everybody, it's me Nate aka Devil Dog and I'm back with a walkthrough to help you get the Take the Cannoli Trophy in Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Yes, I know most people out there are going to be like, Nathan, there's hundreds of different ways of doing this, but all of them take way too long, including a bunch of bull crap that you have to do. This is a much easier way of doing it. First up, what you want to do is collect 80 packages, you will have to do that, 80 hidden packages throughout the world, which will unlock the Sea Sparrow at your mansion on Starfish Island. Now, once you do that, all you have to do is go to the island and get the Sea Sparrow, which has a machine gun attached, and you can very easily just go and fly up to helicopters that constantly respawn and shoot them and blow them up. Each time you blow up a helicopter, you get 30 points added to your total. Now, remember, uh, when they came out with the remastered version of this, they lowered the amount of points needed to hit the take the cannoli mark. I think it's at 100,000 now compared to the original version was a million. So if you're still playing the old one, yeah, uh, it's still bullcrap. Uh, like I said, this is still a bullcrap trophy to get. It really is. But this makes it so much easier because while you're doing this, you don't get a wanted level either. Police will not attack you and you will not be messed with at all. Now, normally what I'll do is I'll get the Sea Sparrow, I'll blow up the chopper at the top of my mansion's heliport, then I just fly over here into the downtown area, and there's two choppers that constantly spawn, one here at the helipad of the hospital, and the one right around the corner here, uh, it's not there right now, but I'll show you how to spawn them, uh, they, they constantly spawn, and all you have to do is just fly up here with your uh, helicopter, and uh, at this point in the game you should be pretty good at being able to fly and shoot, just uh, you know, get close enough to be able to hit with your uh, ammo and fire off rounds until you blow up the helicopter, which will get you 30 points for each single one you blow up. Now, when you want to keep doing this, all you have to do is just fly out over here over the water, and when you do that, it will reset the choppers back to their original position, and you can just keep rinsing and repeating this technique for getting 30 points on every single chopper every single time. Now, as you see, when I come back this time, the uh, chopper that normally spawns for the uh, race that you can do will spawn in. Uh, you'll just have to make sure that you land close enough to where your bullets will hit it, but not too close that when it blows up, it'll blow you up as well. As you see right here at the criminal rating, right hand man, 27281. That is my current score for this. To show you something here, that's 27281. And I think I'm a little too far away this time. I'll scoot up a little bit. And then I'll fire on the chopper until it starts, you know, smoking. I'll back away because I, I don't want to blow up, of course. Because uh, that's one thing about this, the get the criminal rating, the take the cannoli. You can lose points if you get arrested or die or get blown up. So it, it's kind of a pain in the butt. So what I normally do is I'll cycle through about maybe six to ten rounds of doing this with blowing up these choppers before I head right around the corner to a save point and save. And uh, that's basically what I did. As you see here, I'll just get out of my chopper here and uh, bring up the menu so you can see that indeed, criminal rating right hand man, 27340. It does give you 30 points for every chopper you blow up. And like I said, just go to Starfish Island once you've gotten 80 packages. You do have to be pretty far in the game to be able to do this, of course, but it shouldn't be an issue. Get your Sea Sparrow and just go to the downtown area here, right where the, uh, I think it's the, uh, oh, the, the mission for Candy Sucks, where you have to do the motorcycle jumps. You should be affiliated with this area to know right where it's at at this point in the game. And uh, just take your Sea Sparrow, creep up on these choppers and blow them up. And don't get me wrong, it's still going to take a long time, but it's way easier than the set it and forget it technique of shooting like 150 rounds into a box and then putting a rubber band around your controller button with the sea sparrow to shoot like a, the packer and uh, the other little tricks they do. This actually is guaranteed points. And if you do it this way, while it will take you a long time, I guarantee you, you will finally get that ever elusive take the cannoli trophy and get 100% on Grand Theft Auto Vice City. I hope this uh, video helped. Please leave in the comments below if it's helped or not. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. 
Remember, I currently have a giveaway where I'm giving away a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X to anyone. All you have to do is go to the video, watch the video, follow the rules to enter. It doesn't require a sub to my channel or nothing. It's absolutely free to you. And remember, I always end my videos by saying, have fun, play hard, and remember people, the devil is in the details. Peace out until next time.